Hello everyone, welcome to your second tutorial on KeyPhP 3.4. In this tutorial, we will continue the installation of complete installation of KeyPHP. Remember in the past tutorial, we ran this code, this command, and hit enter to install KeyPHP 3.4.2. And um, it has done all this installation, and where we are right now is uh, it gets to this point where it asks you to set whether it is to set folder permission. You just type Y on your keyboard and hit enter, then it does that, and then you're good to go. So I typed CP cake blog to navigate into my folder, and then we're going to just go to the the folder itself and see how things are organized. So this is our cake blog folder. First of all, you can see the GitHub file, and then there is the rest of the file. Now um, your application starts running from your web roots. This is where your index.php file, this is where your CSS files and everything is. Um, in Laravel, this should be your public folder. And then now you have your web root file. The next thing you want to check out is your TMP files. This is where you have your cache and your sessions and your models and a whole lot of things. So um, this is where all the storage uh, takes place, temporary storage. And of course, you have your tests folder. This vendor, this vendor's folder is because of the composer that you have, and um, we're going to see the SRC folder where you have your controller, your model, your template, and your view. So everything you have uh, about your controller, model, template, and view is inside this folder. There we go. So you have your controller. Your controller is the file where you write your application logic, and then. Um, if you have used any other framework, it should be very familiar to you. I will explain this further in the next tutorial. Then you have your model. Inside your model, you have your entity and your table. Your entity is for writing codes that have to apply to just one record. For instance, if you wanted to change um, hash a user's password before you save it, something like that, just one for one user. Then if you wanted to do something that will apply to many users at once, that's where you uh, write. This is where you write the business logic for it, which is in the table. As you can see in some most um, other frameworks, um, both of these files are just um, combined on the model, but here it's neatly split out for you. And then the next thing you have is your your template file. This is uh, your views file in a way. This is what your users see. And as you can see, some things have already been created for you, which is your layout. You don't need to manually create out your layout. This is basically your index dot. Um, PHP file, this is what your users see. So if you wanted to edit this where you edit, so you have your errors and a whole lot of things already created for you. Then you have your email templates, text and HTML already created for you. So you can just go in and see what you can edit there. And if you go back, um, then we have pages too. All right, um, pages, uh, <coughs> pages is just one of the views for this is the default view that comes with cake so as you create more more views you create more folders here so if you create a new uh, model for instance users you have a users folder and um, you create more files inside the users folder so i will show you later on as we go on so next thing we have to do is to actually run and our, our application and see if we can see what it looks like and then we have to configure our database you have your logs where you keep your log files cake PHP keeps its log files and um, you have the config where you set up a number of things about cake which we'll do um, briefly or we'll quickly um, get it done briefly then you have your bin where you run your console commands all right so this is our config and we will set up our database connectivity and a whole lot of things here then here is the routes file where you set up your routes but then uh, kick php does most of the routing automatically for you so if we get back to our, our pc our browser and make sure that our server is running we can run kick php from our, our server by just running slash navigating into the root folder kick block and hit enter it should pull up our kick php application and then um, here is it and then kick PHP is going to check for a lot of things. Yeah, our version is greater our version of PHP is greater than 5.6 and a whole lot of things is going to check. So we're looking for the red flag red flags 
And um, first of all, uh, what we have, what we have is, if you go through this, you see that it verifies that a whole lot of things are correct. But then there's an issue. Your database, CakePip is not able to connect to the database. All right. So what we'll do is go to our PHP my admin, set up our database, and uh, come to our app file and configure it. So let's quickly do that. So we'll go to PHP my admin. I'm going to log into my PHP my admin and create a brand new database. And there, so when your PHP my admin opens, you click on databases. Then we're going to call our database anything. So, but I'll call this one kick uh, blog and then hit um, create. So we scroll to it, kick blog has been created. So we're going to go back to our code. Sorry, we're going to go back to our config. We will open our app.php and set up our kick uh, PHP database connection. And um, right there, right there it will open and um, there are not a number of things you can set up here uh, for instance what makes or which folder should be your web route and the whole lot of default configurations where your JS files are and these are the defaults you can change them if you ever really need to do that and um, of course you have your security salt you are supposed to change this assemble key in, in some frameworks this key is um, you have to manually add this key and um, that's an extra time for you so i'm just going to adjust this key a little so i'll just um, type anything here to adjust the key and then the next thing we're going to check out is um there are some settings for our cache we are basically looking for the settings for our database and um, so as you can see um you can set up a uh, set up a whole lot of things about your email and then your default email and a whole lot of th stuff and but this is what we are actually looking for we are looking for a place to configure a database so we leave this at localhost which means the application is hosted on the same server where the the database is hosted all right so if your database is hosted on another server you change this localhost to the address of the the url or endpoint of um, where your database is hosted so the next thing we have is um we are going to change the username of our application we change it of our database mine is root and then yours is probably root too with no password remember that when you upload this application to your shared hosting or your vps you have to change this again to the configuration of your shared hosting database so the database we created was kick blog and um they will basically leave the rest the way it is don't be um some people mistakenly um, leave this guy and go to set up this other guy. This is the database for the testing, which means in KPHP, you can use separate databases. You just have to name the configuration and duplicate this thing, all right? So this is the database for the testing. So the mistake so many people make is to set up this database and wonder why Cake is not working. It's not working because you've not set up these other ones. This other one. So this is the one you need to set up and then if you are doing testing you have to set up this one too all right so there are other configurations about your log and um, your log level and a whole lot of things that you can set on this app folder so this is basically your core configuration folder or file sorry and then now we are good to go i'll save this and then we we'll move over to other things so let's move over to a browser and uh, we click on we open our kick blog site and then remember that there's a red marker here so we refresh and reload then we wait a little to see then we are connected so cake page is able to connect to your database so as you can see a whole lot of things uh all uh we now have green flags on all so we're good to go building our first application so the next thing you have to know is that there is um uh there are some links important links here to some basic tutorials you can take and then if you go to the right left and you'll see more details about things you can do here all right and in the next tutorial we will start building up an application quickly thank you very much see you in the next tutorial